Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today I want to show you my uh, fuel injection uh, test kit. Um, for the longest time I was just, uh, I, all, all I had a, uh, it's a fuel pressure gauge and uh, just a regular hose that can be adapted into the uh, Schrader valve. Um, and it was a you know, heavy duty one and it, worked, it's, it works great for it's this one. I'm not sure what the brand is, but I got it used a long time ago and it, it works great. I mean, even to this day, it's the best one I ever had. Um, so, then I needed something that I can, um, with, with many cars these days, we don't have a shade of all, so I needed a kit that I can actually uh, um, adapt, uh, <coughs> tap into the fuel rail, you know, fuel, uh, fuel line to uh, get my uh, pressure reading. So I decided to purchase this uh, uh, PT Performance Tool Master Fuel uh, uh, Injection Kit, uh, inje uh, Injection Test Kit, and uh, uh, honestly, I wasn't really happy with it. Uh, it has the uh, it has a lot of adapters in it, uh, but what happened is that uh, one of these main uh, adapters that you uh, tap into the Schrader valve. After like a third use usage, is, it, it lost this um, um, rubber rubber um, um, uh, gasket in it, and it started to leak. Uh, I think there are some replacements in it, but uh, I just don't trust this anymore. Uh, so I decided to kind of modify this kit to uh, to my needs. So. Um, um, what I did actually, uh, I do like the um, um, fuel um, the gauge. The gauge is pretty good size. It's very accurate. Has nice uh, hook on it, and um, so I used uh, some of the parts from my old uh, uh, fuel pressure regulator, a uh, fuel pressure uh, uh, tester, uh, and then I uh, used some from this from this kit as well. So <clears throat> this is the the first unit. Uh, that has the gauge on it and uh, this is the part from my old uh, th this is a relief valve uh, uh, from my old gauge uh, works a lot better uh, this is the one that came up in, in this kit and I just don't like it it's kind of heavy and this this hose is so it's just ridiculous I mean I, I don't like it so anyway uh, but I do like these um, uh, quick connectors that, that's that come in, in this set so they are kind of narrow and, and they don't leak so far they are they are they're okay uh, so what I did on this, uh, to start with, I, I made this, I put some adapters on it, did a little plumbing on it, and now I have this female uh, connector at the bottom, and uh, I can uh, hook up my, uh, my, my regular hose that's going to hook to the, um, uh, that hooks to Schrader valve. So uh, this is my setup here, so I can, depends, if this is the big one, if I need a, if the shader valve is, shader valve is smaller, then I have a, another adapter and I can put that in and uh, adapt it to my, my fuel rail, to my uh, shader valve. Um, then uh, I needed a uh, option to uh, hook this tool to my uh, adapters that came with this kit. That was the main reason I got it, you know. So this is like for the Ford and GM, all these uh, different adapters now. Uh, that I can um, tap into the fuel line, and they all have this um, uh, a male uh, quick connect. So I could just uh, you know connect straight to it like this. But many times I don't think it's going to work because you know I don't think it's going to. It might work in some cases, but in some cases not. So uh, uh, what I have is a uh, hose from this kit, this blue blue hose, and uh, that is a male and female uh, end to it. Now I kind of change it a little bit so now I can just uh, simply hook it up to this uh, unit and uh, now I can use any of these uh, these adapters so that's uh, that's a second setup now um, now this kit did not come with a, a Chrysler adapter so I went to a junkyard and I cut some uh, fuel lines of one of the, I think it was a Dodge Intrepid or something, so I got this and um, I made, um, uh, it works pretty good. Uh, and uh, this is going to be, I'm going to use regular, um, uh, uh, this black hose with this, uh, with this setup, so it's going to be like that.
so that works pretty well too. So um, I'm not sure how well I, I haven't used these um, adapters yet. I'm not sure are they gonna leak or not. Hope hopefully they're gonna be okay. But I really do like the uh, quick connect in this kit. It, it's really nice. It's, so far it hasn't been leaking, so we'll see. Uh, so so that's that. Uh, the next one uh, what I added to to this uh, unit is uh, this uh, male quick connect here on the side and uh, <clears throat> that is used for uh, a, a fuel I mean a, a pressure transducer okay I have a 100 psi pressure transducer now if I want to you know most of the time I'm not going to need that because since I have all, all have a gauge on it uh, you know. but if I, if I want to use my lab scope uh, I can uh, I can simply adapt. I can, I can connect my um, uh, fuel. Uh, I mean pressure transducer and uh, hook it up my five volt uh, regulator to it and uh, hook it up to the lab scope. So that's that's another option. Uh, the next uh, I also have a uh, first look sensor and uh, with this um, this can be used. Uh, to look at the um, uh, differential in a, in, a, in, a, in a pressure in a fuel rail by uh, hooking this to adapting into the um, uh, uh, fuel pressure regulator and um, uh, the fuel pressure regulator has a diaphragm in it and uh, when the fuel, fuel injector is open there's going to be a slight drop in pressure and it's going to reflect on the diaphragm the diaphragm is going to start to vibrate making the uh, and that vibration we can we can pick up the, the fuel uh, first look sensor and uh, we can uh, uh, you know use it, use that signal uh, sync it with uh, one of the injectors basically makes a sound wave it makes its own voltage there's no voltage supplied to this and I have a I have a um, video I'm gonna leave a link in the description how that works uh, so if you have a, a fuel injector that it's not opening or not or stop open or stop close, uh, we can actually, uh, this uh, sensor can pick that up. Now one of the problems with that is that we can only use this with a, uh, a return system where we have actually physically a, a, a fuel pressure regulator attached to the fuel line. Uh, unfortunately on any other system we don't have that so we can't really use it. So uh, what I did, I uh, I was looking around and so I found this um, fuel pressure regulator. This is from uh, Jaguar. Uh, here's the uh, item number. And um, I, this, I did have this actually uh, uh, on, on the adapted here, but it just made a whole unit so too big and kind of heavy. So I decided actually to take this uh, apart and put it in the separate. So, uh, so anyway, uh, the reason I have this is uh, now we can actually uh, tap this into the fuel line and uh, do the same thing on the on the on the uh, returnless system. So now we're just gonna uh, hook up our uh, uh, first look sensor to it and uh, do the same test. Just look at the, the, the this diaphragm inside. Uh, even though this is not gonna have any any use on the uh, on the on the line on our fuel system, but we can actually still see the uh, the vibration of this. Uh, a diaphragm and it will be translated into the sensor we can look at the signal I have a, uh, a video I'm going to leave it in the description so now with this uh, I can again simply just uh, hook it up to this end again and um, you know plug in my uh, uh, first look sensor to this um, something that I'm noticing as I was doing this um, the problem is uh, we kind of, as, as we move this away from the fuel rail, that fuel, I mean the pressure drop, that the, the, the fuel, you know, drop inside a fuel pressure rail, uh, it's not going to be noticeable much anymore because we're so far away from the fuel rail. So we want to adapt this as close as we can. Uh, so this, uh, this blue hose, uh, this blue hose is a little bit um, um, uh, shorter than a black one. And uh, I can use this one now to uh, to hook it up to my to my um, uh, fuel line. Um, and um, now uh, there's now to, in order to do that, I need to have another adapter now. So um, um, 
I had this, I found this kit in yard sale. Uh, this is the um, uh, Pro Set for uh, AC system R12, and it has a, some adapters in it. Um, and you can actually still find these on eBay, I believe. So anyway, I used one of these adapters from this kit, and it's uh, it's this one here, okay? And this fits perfectly to the fuel rail, to the Schrader valve, and. Um, so uh, I put, uh, uh, I screwed this one of these male adapters from this kit, and now uh, I can, uh, <clears throat> you know, I can use a blue line and hook it up and uh, tap into my into my fuel rail, or I can actually use my uh, uh, straight. I can do it like this and hook it into the uh, into the fuel line. It's going to be a lot, you know, it's going to be closer to it. Um, and uh, now, if uh, if I need to um, also now, if I if there is a, a return system, if there's a system without a shade valve, then I will have to use this blue line because uh, I got no other option than. Uh, um, uh, let me think about this. Yes, uh, actually, no, I don't need to. No, no. Uh, with this, uh, I still have a female female adapter, so if I if I need to uh, tap into the fuel line with any of these adapters, I can still do it. I can just plug it in like this, and that's you know uh, this. What what this allows me actually is get this uh, fuel pressure regulator closer to the fuel rail, and it's going to pick up the signal a little bit better. You know the vibration is going to be more pr pr pronounced, so my first look sensor is going to be able to pick up the the, the signal better. Uh, again, I, I have I had this on the on the on this unit, but. Again, it was too far from the fuel rail, and also it was too heavy. It was kind of it was a, it was a too long, and I, I didn't like it. It worked, but I think this is going to work better this way. And uh, so, let me think about that. Uh, so that's it. Uh, the other thing we can now, if uh, you know, uh, yeah. So uh, one th else, I, something else I can do also. Uh, this is the uh, the hundred psi. Um, uh, uh, Pressure transducer, and uh, now, as I said, I can I can uh, connect it to this device to this unit, and uh, and uh, you know get my uh, electronic. You know I can use a lab scope to to see the pressure. Uh, then also I can uh, I have this adapter, and uh, uh, it's just it's going to be an open. So uh, if I want to use it to maybe check the pressure inside the uh, like for the vacuum, I can still use it for the vacuum as well. I can just put a, a different hoses to it. Uh, but something else I can use with this is to uh, now with what I can do with this, I can actually take the car for the test drive and uh, tap this into the fuel line, and actually I can. Uh, I can look my fuel pressure as I'm driving the car, and that's one of the things that I have never had before. And uh, simply because this is just too big and cumbersome, you know, it's just uh, you know I can still do it like this, but this is a whole unit. It's too heavy. I mean, you cannot put this under the hood or maybe on the hood or somewhere. So now, uh, with this adapter here, okay, uh, one that I got from this uh, uh, AC uh, kit. Now with this one, I can go straight into the uh, Schrader valve, and uh, I can uh, hook this up like this, and then uh, hook it up to my uh, uh, valve regulator, and uh, this is a very small unit. It can rest on the on the fuel rail, and uh, now I can uh, you know you have to make sure you don't have any leaks, but with this I can. Uh, I can take the car for a test drive and uh, and uh, monitor my my pressure, fuel pressure. Now, if uh, also if sometimes this might not work because of the uh, I don't know maybe um, uh, intake manifold might be in the way or maybe you know the, the shader valve might be kind of uh, uh, hidden underneath or something. So in that case, uh, I would just simply use my uh, blue hose. Just use my, my blue hose and then connect my blue hose to this adapter and uh, you know hook it up to my to my fuel rail. That will work as well. And also if uh, 
Uh, if I have to use my uh, one of these adapters, of course I can just uh, um, I can go straight with my uh, with my uh, uh, pressure transducer like this and tap it into the fuel line. Or if I if that doesn't work, I may use the blue line, blue hose as well. So I'm just uh, hook this in and uh, and then hook up my uh, pressure transducer to it. I hope this makes sense. I hope I didn't make it too complicated, but uh, um, this is just a now versatile tool that I can really do a lot of, you know, uh, many things with it. I mean, again, uh, this is one of the biggest deal that I always wanted to have is option to drive the car and uh, and monitor my, my fuel pressure. If I, if you have like a lean condition or something like that, uh, and then with this we, we can, you know, uh, monitor the fuel pressure. Maybe we can. Uh, um, Get uh, one channel for the for the for the fuel pressure, another channel maybe on a throttle position sensor, you know, to see the response of the fuel versus the uh, 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 the throttle uh, position sensor. Maybe even uh, tap into the uh, oxygen sensor, see the how the oxygen sensor responding to a uh, 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 higher demand. Um, so um, and uh, that that's about it. I mean, I don't think I have anything else. Uh, you know. That should be it. I think I've, I've covered everything that I want to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please, uh, you know, ask me. I uh, will uh, try to, you know, uh, I always reply to everyone like in 24 hours or less. I'm trying to. I get a lot of people now on my channel and, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of comments. So I'm trying to, you know, answer everybody promptly. And um, that's it again. I mean, this is, this part, I don't really like it anymore. I just, it's just kind of, and this hose is, is just so, ch so cheap. It's just doesn't work well at all, but uh, um, I think is did I miss anything? Uh, okay, I think that's all. Uh, something else I want to show you, ask you guys also. I mean, these are adapters here. Uh, I'm not sure what they all use. These guys here, I mean, all these. Uh, I'm I'm kind of confused. I don't really know. I'm mean, like like uh, this like number thirteen is is a, a banjo bolt adapter. I mean, it has this. Uh, a hole in it. I have no idea what's it used for. I'll be, I'll be looking on YouTube and uh, to see what's the purpose of all these adopters that I don't. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, that's a stupid question. But why would there be a hole in the middle of it? I don't get it. <laughs> Again, I really don't know. So uh, if you guys, uh, if you guys know, that would be great. I really like to know what is the purpose of these adopters. But uh, uh, but anyway, the main uh, main adopters are these. You know, for for the GMs and. Like these guys, so that's the, that's the main reason I've got this kit. So now I can uh, pretty much use everything that's in this kit, and even do more. You know, with the pressure transducer and the first look sensor, and uh, you know, with this um, um, you know, fuel pressure regulator. But I think this this will work better now because I can get closer to my to my uh, fuel rail, to, and so that uh, my you know drop in pressure is going to be more pronounced, and it's going to be reflected on the diaphragm inside this guy. So, uh, okay guys, I think that's all I want to show you this time. And now I have one more thing also, I mean, it, this is something new. Uh, you guys have seen this, and, and, and I, I made a video, this is the a little microphone. Um, and this kind of, it's part of the fuel delivery testing, whatever, where we can actually uh, uh, hook this to a uh, fuel rail. And um, it actually works. I mean, uh, we can actually listen the uh, sound that each injector makes, and uh, if there, uh, we can actually sync that with our in in injector waveform, and uh, or, or current ramp, whatever you want to use it. And if there is a sound that's missing from one of the sensors, I'm um, sorry, one of the fuel injectors, you know, we actually gonna you're gonna see that on the signal. That's kind of cool too. So um, so okay, that's pretty much it I have for you know fuel. Uh, delivery testing and things like that so uh, I think there should be there should be enough for now okay guys well thank you so much I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys found something inter interesting in here again if you have any questions please uh, uh, you know send me a message and uh, you know and uh, I'll uh, I'll reply to it as soon as I can thank you so much and uh, have a nice day bye